السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه ومن اتبعه داه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد ما dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers our topic is a continuation of what we have started already 50 tips of stopping following one's desires and we have covered some of them and inshallah we will continue may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make these tips inshallah beneficial to all of us uh, the last tip we mentioned that we are not created for having fun in this world we are really created for something noble target and that is to actualize and to fulfill our real task in this world and that is to get the ubudiyah and to achieve servitude and to be a true servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the very purpose for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us as he said وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا يَعْبُدُونَ so Allah said I created men and jinn and mankind for nothing but to worship me the only purpose for your creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another tip insha'Allah that as a human being, you know, we are, as human beings, the masters in this universe. Allah created everything for us. And if you look around you, if you look around you, you'll find animals, plants, and inanimate, and human beings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created the plants for you. He created the animals for you to serve you. He created the inanimates for you. So you are the master. And all these three things, they serve you. And yet, guess what? The animal, some animals, because of their instinct, they will not eat a particular plant because they know it's built inside them that this particular plant or leaf is not good for them, harmful. So they will avoid that. And we, human beings who have intelligence, we should also do the same thing. Avoid anything that harms us. So the animals should not be better than you as a human being. Animals, they don't have the intellect, they don't have the intelligence, but you as a human being, Allah has given you the intellect. So use it. So that's why think about the consequences. You should not let the animal who doesn't have intelligence and avoids whatever harms it, and you do the things that will harm you. Another tip, inshallah, that we have to reflect on the fate of those who followed their own desires. Think, study history. What happened to those who were slaves for their own desires? What happened to them? What happened to Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, who followed his own desire? When the truth came to him, when Moses came to him, alayhi salam, and showed him all the proofs that he is the messenger of Allah, he rejected all that because he was following his hawa. He was following his own desire. He was intoxicated. He was intoxicated. He was following his own desire. So he didn't listen to the truth. He didn't listen to the warning that came to him. As a matter of fact, he grew in arrogance. He became so haughty. And he said, I am ana rabbukum al-a'la. See what the Hawa does to you, to a person, when you become a slave for your desires. Pharaoh says, he gathered the Egyptians and he addressed the masses, he addressed the nation and he told them, فَحَشَرَ Allah says, فَحَشَرَ فَنَادَ He gathered all the people. And then he said, أَنَا رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى I am your supreme Lord. Guess what happened to this Supreme Lord. What happened to him? Allah commanded Musa alayhi salam to take the Israelites, the children of Israel from Egypt, and they left at night, during the night. And he followed them by his troops. And when the day broke, now the Israelites or Ben Israel, children of Israel, they were trapped between the sea and the army of Pharaoh. So they screamed and they cried and they said, 
they are going to capture us. But Musa said, Nay, Kalla, nay, because Musa alayhi salam has yaqeen, trust in Allah. He said, Nay, Allah will never desert me. And Allah told him, Strike the sea with your stick. And the sea split. But Fir'aun, who was intoxicated, following his desire, he should have stopped. Now he's seeing that the sea split, he should have stopped. And he should have thought of it, that this is something supernatural. But the fool said what? Fir'aun, because of following this desire. He said, we'll capture them, we'll catch them. So he followed them. Ben Israel, Moses, Ali Salam, and the children of Israel, Allah saved them and they came from the other side of the sea. Moses wanted to strike the sea again. Allah told him, no, no, leave it. There is something is going to happen. And the troops and this intoxicated, this slave of desire went inside and Allah commanded the sea to go back and they were drowned. So think of the consequences of those who followed and their desires such as Fir'aun or Haman or Qarun, the Korah, who came walking ostentatiously, arrogantly, and the people of Nali, they told him, Oh Qarun, be humble, down to earth. This wealth intoxicates you. This wealth makes you grow in arrogance. Be a humble person. He said, No, this wealth I have acquired it. Oh God gave it to me because I deserve it. So what happened to him? This is the, we have to reflect on these stories. What happened to him? Allah told the earth, open, and he was swallowed by the earth. The earth swallowed him, and he is still sinking, as Prophet Muhammad said. Fir'aun, who said he is the Supreme Lord, when he was drowning, and Jibreel, the archangel, was stuffing his mouth, the mouth of Fir'aun, with mud, picking from the seabed. Allah said to him, Today, O oh Fir'aun, we will save only your body. We'll save only your body. And you can go to Egypt and see the mummy of Fir'aun. As Allah said, Today we will save your body as a token, as a sign for all the Fir'auns to come after you. Because there are many Fir'auns. There are many Pharaohs who do the same thing. So this is a lesson for them. So by reflecting upon the fate of those who followed their desires, like Fir'aun, like Qarun, like the people of Lut, the people of Sodom, the Sodomites, the people of Prophet Lut, what happened to them? When they perverted and they started fulfilling their desires with the same sex, something abnormal, what happened to them? Allah destroyed the town. Allah sent the archangel, Jibreel, and the Jibreel, he uprooted the whole city and turned it upside down. And you can go to the, where the Dead Sea is, that's the place. Excavations revealed they have found the houses are inverted upside down. Because Jibreel carried the whole town and then dropped it bottom to head. So that is, will help you when you reflect that the consequences of those who followed 